when she needs to be. She can go through the air and climb up a tree. If you choose her, you'll not choose wrong. With a skip and a hop, she's one cool car. Huh? In this case, he has no style, he has no grace. This, this car has a funny face. He can handstand. Eh bien, bonsoir à tous les écouteurs. C'est moi. J'espère que vous allez bien, moi ça va. Moi ça va, moi ça va. On se retrouve donc ce soir pour du euh, The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe euh, Edition, tout ça, tout ça. Euh, parce que, euh, bah, on avait fait ça dimanche dernier. J'avais trouvé ça trop bien. Et euh, je pense qu'il y a... Beaucoup, beaucoup de trains que j'ai pas encore fait. Pas beaucoup, beaucoup. En tout cas, c'est sûr qu'il en reste. Euh, je sais pas trop combien de temps va durer ce live. Je sais pas trop si on fera quelque chose d'autre après. Si ça dure pas longtemps. Euh, beaucoup de choses que je sais pas trop. Je me rappelle plus. <rire> ah, ça c'est une variante. De... Des chemins qu'on avait déjà empruntés pour faire telle ou telle fin. Donc on va, on va revivre ça. Peut-être qu'il y aura des fins qu'on a déjà vues. Mais euh, bah voilà, en tout cas on va juste kiffer. Parce que euh, le jeu est cool. Donc je propose qu'on y aille tout de suite. Let's go. Bah, ah oui, ma manette elle est éteinte. Ouais, ça va mieux quand elle est allumée. Pour appuyer sur le, la manette. Je trouve. Avis personnel. Et salut Phoenix, comment tu vas Entrée l'heure actuelle. Il a dit que je pouvais entrer celle que je voulais. Alors il est 5 heures. Vingt-trois du matin. Alors non, j'en ai pas fait 8000. Je... Là je reprends du coup justement. Mais moi ça va, moi ça va. Ah 5h23, votre heure préférée, de... eh oui. Ou bien n'avez-vous pas résisté à la tentation de m'indiquer la bonne heure Après tout, je sais combien vous appréciez de me donner l'heure exacte. Et voilà, je suis maintenant curieux de savoir si euh, 5h23 est la bonne heure ou pas. Voyons cela avec un autre curseur. Quel est le degré d'exactitude de ça Vous savez, je voulais juste vous dire euh, que cette heure soit exacte ou non, je passe un excellent moment à, à régler ces paramètres. J'ai l'impression d'en apprendre plus sur vous et vos préférences. Il est bon de collecter des données. Ah. J'aurais aimé qu'on ait plus de curseurs, mais nous les avons tous utilisés. <rire> hmm, je pourrais inventer de nouveaux curseurs pour recueillir des données à votre sujet. C'est un peu compliqué. Euh, oui, je vais en fabriquer de nouveaux. Vas-y. 
Ça devrait être prêt à la prochaine fois que vous démarrerez le jeu. Ah, mince. On redémarrera peut-être le jeu en fin de live, hein, du coup, si euh, les nouveaux curseurs. Et oui L'apparition de la commande Project Cage avec ce texte euh, qui est un véritable roman. <rire> N'hésitez pas à partager euh, en masse. Le TikTok rencontre un petit succès là en ce moment même. J'en suis content. Euh, oui, comment c'est le jeu This is the story of a man named Stanley. Ah ouais Oh putain, je regarderai après alors. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the key. Est-ce est que le tweet est supprimé ou c'est juste que ça indique qu'il y a une réponse qui a été supprimée Je pense que c'est le tweet du coup, c'est ça. And in what order This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Je pense que t'as pas du tout accès quoi, c'est ça. Others might have considered it so rending. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Parce que je sais qu'à un moment il y avait une réponse que j'avais supprimée euh, dans un des deux tweets parce que j'avais fait de la merde. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Okay, it's bad. I need to go to the remote. Alors, mais c'est peut-être moi. C'est peut-être moi. On the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. C'est vrai que les ballons ça change tout. Je suis désolé. Isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his okay, senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out Après, of the office. Après, genre, 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 m'attresser un coup euh, s'il faut euh, quand même euh, après le live. On limite de voir ça avec euh, avec mes modos, mais je pense que c'est juste euh, ouais le fait que moi j'avais supprimé une réponse parce que j'avais fait un petit peu de la merde euh, dans les réponses. What could it mean? Alors, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Je prends le saut de la ration. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the bon chemin. Left. Je sais plus euh, ce qu'on avait fait la dernière fois et ce qu'on n'avait pas fait. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to the chef, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Ah, de you can't hein. buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Très heureux. C'est la deuxième, du coup. Celle du tuto à compter. I'm going to feeling when you... Mot pour mot, s'il a dit. Ouais, du coup, j'ai envie de chercher les figurines. Je pense pas que cette porte pourrait s'ouvrir. Ouais, c'est giga chance que j'essaye je, de, de mettre les réponses dans le bon ordre. Mais c'est euh, Twitter qui fait ça un peu automatiquement, tu sais. Parce que je les ai enchaînés, peut-être, je sais pas. C'est giga chiant. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Mais si j'ai repéré. Nor in the bliss of simply being near the bucket, did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was two eight four five? Ah.
Uh. Stanley just sat around, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was okay. the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. D'accord, d'accord. Mais du coup... Euh, ah Je pas vu ça. Même la première fois que j'étais venu pour faire cette fin, euh, que j'avais pas le saut et tout, euh, j'avais pas été aussi loin. Ah oui On en est à la moitié des figurines. Stanlurine. Oh, Ah. On pouvait avancer. Oui, c'était le vide. Mais oui, des collectibles. Moi, ça me rend heureux des collectibles tout le temps. Des collectibles euh, à vie. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. J'aimerais que dans ma vie, euh, soothing IRL, him, il y ait des collectibles. Comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Quand je dis des collectibles, c'est pas genre des trucs à collectionner, hein, mais euh, vraiment, euh, je me balade dans la rue et paf, il y a un autocollant. Euh... Parce qu'il y en a que 6 et pas 900. Que... Ah, après, ça, tu vois, euh, ça, ça m'aurait pas gêné, hein. C'est trop bien, les collectibles. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind control facility. What's he shopping? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. No, what's he shopping? The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Non, on va s'échapper. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. J'ai l'impression que ça arrive. Non, c'est bon, ça arrive pas tout le temps. Une mort douloureuse, il a dit. Ah ouais, peut-être bien. <rire> ah. Que se passe-t-il? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use ouais, is the ease uh, when you're not a man? This is what Stanley thought to himself. Oh, and he sort bouger, of hein. kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Ah. So long. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, oh. as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Bah, uh, ouais. Oh. Oh. C'était très inattendu. Just tell me the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious Incroyable. bucket to behold. Ah non, ah c'est le musée euh, commémoratif du saut, c'est ça. Le saut vous accueille à la grande exposition. Vous vous tenez au bord du savoir, tout comme un saut, l'esprit humain est souvent vide à l'intérieur, un vide caverneux. Mais grâce à l'exposition qui se présente à vous, l'esprit peut se remplir. S'enrichit et être satisfait. Les connaissances du saut et son histoire sont le seul, euh, les seuls pardon, que nous ayons véritablement. Utiliserez-vous ce que vous apprenez ici dans le monde extérieur Accepterez-vous l'esprit ouvert, ce qui peut paraître complexe quant aux informations de cette exposition Changerez-vous votre vie et la vie de vos proches suite à cette exposition Ou fermerez-vous les yeux pour continuer à vivre comme avant dans l'ignorance et l'obscurité C'est beau. Hein on va avoir les savoirs du saut. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? 
Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? 25 sauts. Une photo David. Euh, 25 sauts. Le plus grand nombre de sauts pris en photo à ce jour. Je pense qu'il y en a un peu plus. Le photographe a souffert d'une catatonie de plusieurs semaines causée par l'euphorie de l'exposition à tant de sauts à la fois. Oui, je pense qu'il y en a vraiment plus que 25. Hein. J'ai vraiment un doute sur l'information donnée. <coughs> Après, je sais pas. Qui suis-je Un saut à deux ans. Oh, waouh ce saut est illustré avec deux ans. Cependant, un tel concept n'a jamais existé en vrai, car il est considéré comme trop risqué et dangereusement expérimental. Chaque année, des dizaines de personnes sont mises à mort pour le simple fait d'essayer. C'est normal. Vous voulez qu'on aille compter les sauts Franchement, euh... Euh, une fois dépassé les 25, je veux m'arrêter. Alors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, ah merde, j'ai compté deux fois. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, ça va être, il y en a déjà plus. Hein. Faut le nombre exact pour être sûr. Je pense que c'est pas nécessaire, mais. Saut infernal. Une reproduction du saut infernal qui, au Moyen-Âge, avait un attrait et, euh, si intense que des dizaines de pays s'affrontèrent pour en obtenir le contrôle. Il y eut des milliards de morts et malgré tout, ce simple fait demeure. Personne ne peut contrôler un saut. Je peux pas le prendre. Le saut du stress présenté sans commentaire. Hmm. Je pense que j'ai compté même plus. C'est possible, hein. déjà la première fois, je me suis un petit peu loupé. Ah oui. Dessin de grotte. Si nous savons que les sauts précédant euh, l'existence de l'humanité. Nous... Ah ouais, les sauts précèdent l'existence de l'humanité, pardon. Nous ne savons pas de combien de temps. Ce dessin d'une grotte illustre la découverte humaine précoce des commodités du sceau. A cette époque, le sceau existait déjà depuis plusieurs millénaires. Observé dans ces dessins comme le sceau se laisse utiliser, ayant jugé les êtres humains comme étant dignes de ses trésors. C'est beau, hein. <rire> J'ai pensé à faire un, un jeu de mots comme ça aussi. La grotte de l'Ascso. Euh, le seau accroché. Cette œuvre symbolise la relation nécessaire entre le seau et l'humanité. Quel que soit ce que nous comprenons sur le seau, il y a toujours plus de connaissances qui restent inaccessibles. Cette distance est forcément, est forcément pour notre bien. Pardon. J'ai repris le saut. But there is something we can do, something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Mais non. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements. Mais pourquoi il faut que je meure Let Stanley pas. die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world. No. Ah, je crois que c'est toi. Je, je suis réellement mouru. Ça fait peur. Hein. Moi j'ai eu peur, vous, je sais pas. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. <laughs> ouais, merci pour gérer. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Euh, on va faire le vrai chemin, j'ai envie de dire. Ah Tu 
de recherche des collectibles. Hein. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. Ah ouais. Can you feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. Bah non, j'ai j'ai pas fait de fun. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give him. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. Moi, je le donne. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet is in the car with the saw for you to rest in with the saw. Are you deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happens to be in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share yeah. your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket <laughs> as they have changed <laughs> and evolved. Ils ont pété un câble avec leur sou quand même. Let him have it. Moi, je veux le donner, hein. Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Vas-y. Here we go. Ah. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Oui, avec le jeu aussi, oui, c'est sûr. Voilà, ma... Étant donné que maintenant c'est mon seau, il m'appartient, j'ai envie de le donner au placard Vas-y. D'accord. Ah ouais. Alors attends, mais je veux quand même donner ce saut au placard à balai, hein, je... You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now, the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Mais non, mais reviens, mec. Oh putain. Il est vraiment susceptible, ce narrateur. Hein. Mec. <rire> Allez, reviens. Trop susceptible. Hein. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket ah walked upstairs to the boss. Je voulais office. le brain et revenir en arrière. Ah, tant pis. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. 
the two of them were inseparable. Mm -hmm. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the bottom. Je sais, je sais plus ce que c'est exactement. Il va le redire, mais je veux faire exprès de louper voir si il pète un câble. Deux huit quatre cinq. Ok. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two, eight, four, five. Oui. Ah, Deux, huit, quatre, zéro. En plus, j'ai mis zéro au lieu de Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Ouais, c'est ce que j'allais mettre du coup, 2, 8, 4, 6. Le narrateur qu'on a eu marre qu'à y aller, c'est bon. C'est fait. Bon. Allons-y, hein. Y'a rien, là Non, y'a rien. Bon, allez, tout. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Tu vas aller là, hein? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with. Ah, je me rappelle de cette salle, on l'avait vu. Euh, What horrible vous? secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both <coughs> wondered to themselves. On l'avait vu, mais genre d'une plateforme un peu plus en hauteur. Voilà, oh, de là-bas. Qui disait, oh non, vous avez tout gâché, machin. Là. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Non, je lâcherai pas le saut. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. Ah, il est sensible le saut. Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Mais oui, tout ira bien. Mais vous. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence oh, as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. Oh, His own quoi, life in someone oh. else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no moment. one except for the bucket. But here was the proof: the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions: happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working—all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Uh, the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived ah. in a really cool way, and the bucket Cinq. made a sassy comment about taking down. Ah oui, je vois des boutons. Est-ce qu'il faut le faire à l'envers ou est-ce que trois? On va, on va essayer de faire dans l'ordre. 1, 2, 3, 4. Comment on fait pour monter là-bas Parce qu'il y a un bouton là-bas. Peut-être que c'est un bouton de fin. Euh... 
Une fois que j'aurai fait 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, le problème c'est que je vois pas de ton là. Ah, Peut-être là-bas. Non. <rire> Ça marche, des bisous, Phoenix. À la prochaine. Bah merde Comment on accède à là-bas Non, non... Un, deux... Ah... Ah mais bah peut-être qu'ils sont là le 4 et 5. Système power on. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust. Non, le saut se garde. An image appeared upon the enormous screen. Oh! Birds. Silly. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Oh. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. <laughs> the mind controls were only a facade <laughs> to disguise its true intentions. Ah ouais. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. The one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. <laughs> Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of fin. all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one oui. was surely the best. Je suis d'accord, c'est le meilleur. Euh, And Stanley was happy. Quelle belle fin. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Je vais sans le saut cette fois. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Il nous manque des collectibles. Hein. Ça c'est certitude. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay, Je t'écoute pour cette Coming fois. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously ah. out of existence in a single moment for no tour, reason at all. None of it made any logical mm. sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! 
he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing oui, I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa. <laughs> then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that Whoa. he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, <laughs> thinking about how Stanley. it's describing Whoa. my thoughts, he thought. And when Make he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the mm. truth. No. Je crois que c'est le jeu qui crash. Putain. Vraiment encore. Quel enfer. Quel enfer. Jusqu'à ce que l'ordinateur soit à peine visible, d'accord. Si je... <rire> Putain, vraiment. Oh, attendez, hop. Avant de regarder quelque chose, pardon. Il a bien crash pour le coup. Eh oui, ça me désole. Et salut à toi, Bibop, comment tu vas Ah là, ils sont copains. C'est ce que le chiffre 5 devient le chiffre 9. Ah, il y a ça. Maison. Jusqu'à ce que le menu charge. Ah oui, d'accord. <rire> ça va, ça va, écoute. Lequel de ces deux mots inventés vous plaît le plus Gratèche ou culotatoire Ah, au culotatoire un peu plus, perso. Non. L'heure que ça fiche maintenant, c'est la bonne heure. Oui. Quelle heure est-il de toute façon Non. <rire> est-il des choses que vous m'ayez pas encore dites sur vous-même oh, oh oui, des torts. Aidez-moi. Oui. Reviendriez-vous Oui Évidemment. Il est mignon. Bon. This is... On s'en l'a vu tout à l'heure, on va pas... Oh, Je vais refaire la fin euh, que j'étais en train de faire avant que je crache, mais avec le saut, peut-être qu'on va refaire sans le saut aussi. Plus tard, mais... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door. Again. Oui, je garde mes autocollants. C'est peut-être intéressant de refaire aussi la fin euh, avec le musée du saut. Euh, comme ça, les gens voient que le saut il est à moi. De toute façon, j'ai l'impression qu'il y a mille fins dans ce jeu. Attendez. 
Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Ah, mince. Mais t'es sûr qu'on peut pas le donner, là, le... On reviendra la prochaine fois. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work. Je sais pas si généralement les fins sont différentes avec et sans saut, mais je sais pas si elle sera réellement ultra différente. Because he believed everyone had vanished, his boss would think he was crazy, and then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized ah non, this moi. isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Mais non, c'est le mien, c'est propriété de Stanley. I end up with someone else's bucket. This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh gracious! He exclaimed, "Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad." Where is it? Mais I oui. must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's oui, me. Oui, j'arrive. The bucket. Oui, plus de saut, mais il m'appelle. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket ah. after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. No, no, mon saut. He had to find the bucket. No. He had to return no. to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. Oui, and then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. Oh, le saut, c'est moi. Incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Ah. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Quoi? <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of Mais si j'avais un saut, he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only. Depuis le début, je n'avais pas de saut. C'était juste euh, l'illusion de mon esprit. He'd gotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work. Ça c'est euh, un scénario digne de Shutter Island. Hein. Absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My life kicks ass, and she backflipped all the way to work. Bah c'est une belle fin pour euh, Mariella du coup, <rire> mais pas pour moi. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure Je reprends. But il est à moi, je suis désolé. Stanley hein. clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Ah oui, ça c'est vraiment euh, ce, les collectifs que j'ai trouvés. Je suis sûr que si je reviens là, une fois que j'aurai trouvé les trois autres là, euh, ça, euh, il peut se passer des choses. 
Stanley, we must move on from this broom. Oh, what you don't remember, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I come into a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket okay. guiding him? J'ai envie de refaire la fin avec euh, le musée du saut. Je me dis que là ils vont voir que le saut il est à moi. Il a accepté de se soumettre. J'avais pas les autocollants avant. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he will be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walked straight mm -hmm. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control for Although this passage had the word escape rien. written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would Vera both bien. meet a violent death. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity non, to turn around mes pas. and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Peut-être qu'elle va changer d'avis la dame avec le saut là. J'espère. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. J'ai chaud les enfants. It puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a Mon sense Dieu. of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Allez. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life ah, came to temps. end, as it was crushed violently to death. Il serait temps, parce que qu'est-ce que je rêve de choix puis euh, ma grosse lumière elle aide pas non plus. Ma chambre c'est un four entre euh, la télé, l'ordi, euh, les consoles, euh, tout ce qui est en train de charger. It was a shame the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Alors je vais pas relire les panneaux de musée du saut là parce qu'on les a déjà vus. J'ai l'impression que la fin n'est pas si différente. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more no no man can own a bucket and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Non, la fin ne change pas malheureusement. We can do something we can do together you and I that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as Je peux recommencer le jeu. Parce qu'elle a dit ne recommencez pas le jeu franchement j'ai envie hein, juste pour la contredire. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just. Cette fois, je la ferai peut-être aussi sans le seau. Il y, y a plein de choses que je dois faire avec ce seau. Son seau. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Okay. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place. Ah! Il a enfin fait le nouveau jeu? You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. Oui. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know ah, I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending quand même too quand much alors. time with it. Don't you want another story involving the Adventure Line? We could make the Adventure Line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. I think the adventure was bien aussi. Il peut pas me laisser poser le saut, non? Dommage. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Ah oui, la musique de l'aventure. Ça m'avait manqué. Hein. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Bien sûr, Don't you mais... remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Wow! <laughs> 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 it's as classic now as you want to <laughs> wow. Let's do it for the Mec, fans, Stanley. Let's get them more blanc. content exactly like this. <laughs> But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. <laughs> okay. Je connaissais pas cette addiction chez mon personnage, mais... Pourquoi pas Tout ça reste un humain. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Ah oui, on va se débarrasser du saut. I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Oh, wow. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality <laughs> that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Je peux pas, je peux pas, je peux pas euh, me débarrasser du seau, mec. Tu sais très bien. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley oui, Parable il va péter, characters? Oui, il va Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance non, that non, it's non. really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket <laughs> Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry no, and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. No. Give the fans what they want. Hurry no. and... 
Ah. C'est fini, le destructeur de saut n'est plus... Oh. Oh. The bucket destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. <laughs> Ça sens, Et moi J'étais bloqué dans cet espace euh, blanc pour l'éternité. Allez, on va aller détruire le seau quand même, histoire de lui faire plaisir. J'espère qu'il ripopera. Stan a décidé de aller à la meeting room. Un bon bucket, un strong bucket, un humble bucket, un commissaire. Regardez, il fait, il fait l'éloge du seau en plus. Euh... Ça n'a aucun sens. C'était pas la façon correcte d'aller à la meeting room. Mais Stanley a senti le bucket appeler à lui. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct, was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley mm. took the door on his left to go back. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. On va aller détruire le seau. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel <laughs> content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce okay. a brand new character. This is the Bucket saut. Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful Moi, new addition to the rich dedans, lore of the Stanley uh, Parable. True, it also was hein. not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast Je all along. Don't you agree? Pourrait, uh, ce saut, mais... Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Mais si, vas-y. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy the bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so dense that it's a complexity and nuance that's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. 
Allez Il est content de nous dire au revoir, mec C'est la même fin, désolé. Ouais. The bucket destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spell-binding stories ah about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here. Ça m'embête que Sorso qui ait gagné euh, cette bataille. Je vais recommencer, eh oui. Eh oui. C'est malheureux. Chienne de vie. Hein. <rire> ok. On peut pas répondre au téléphone. Ah si, on peut. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you and have a pleasant day. Okay. Ah, the embrace of an old friend, a weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chin. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way. But Stanley feared that any path he walked ah. might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. J'aimerais bien so euh, aller euh, dans, dans cette salle en bas. That they might die in one another's arms. Mais je sais pas comment on fait pour y aller. How deeply touching. Ouais, c'est un truc touchant, oui, effectivement. Une belle mort. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly. Ouais, ça a glissé, ouais. This was not the correct way to the meeting. Malheureusement. But Stanley had felt Mais ouais, je, je, je suis sûr qu'il y a un moyen d'aller dans cette pièce en euh, plus bas. Je, je, je suis pas sûr. Mais je crois que j'y avais été euh, avant que le saut soit débloqué. Mais j'oublie le chemin. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Non. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Good. <gasps> Now right. J'ai vu. But Stanley feared that any path he walked. J'ai vu ce nouveau chemin. Désolé, je je me suis tué mais his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. Ça c'est l'inédit là-bas. Ouais, c'est l'inédit là-bas. Hein. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket. But Stanley is a very lucky fellow. On y retourne. Very lucky indeed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Okay. Stanley took the door in his Alors, que ça va nous to mener tout ça là-bas. No, said the bucket. 
Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Say, I guess you Okay, I'm going back hey, to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlorines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay. J'ai pas l'impression qu'il y a un endroit sûr où atterrir, hein, de toute façon. Oh Ah ouais, non, d'accord. <rire> Peu importe la hauteur de laquelle je tombe, c'est... C'est fini. Oui, c'est vraiment très touchant, allez. Ah, je suis un peu déçu par ce chemin, je pensais qu'il y aurait un peu plus de choses à découvrir. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. Je vais aller dans la salle de meeting parce qu'il parle des figurines et je vais voir euh, où sont les deux qui me manquent. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Alors, escalier. Quelque chose avec des escaliers. Quelque part entre du rouge et du bleu. Hmm, J'ai peut-être une idée pour le truc de rouge et bleu. Stanley et le bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Attendez, je vais carrément faire ça. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself. Alors par contre, le truc avec les escaliers, euh... il est beau, hein. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chin. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the ah mais si je sais aussi, je crois savoir. That the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Pour les deux. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. On va aller chercher les deux Stanley derniers collectifs. Stanley his left to go back to the meeting room. Les euh, stun figurines. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Les the cargo les... lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Est-ce que ça se s'ouvre maintenant Non. C'était pour être sûr. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. Ah, je suis obligé d'y aller sans le saut. Je vais Stanley, zapper. How could you think it was okay to bring the bucket? Bah oui, mais par contre. What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket? Ah, il faut que je retourne mais sans le saut. Oh là là. I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Mm. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what. On va rejoindre qu'est-ce que c'est un saut et qu'est-ce que c'est pas un saut. Please step in here for a moment. Vas-y. Now then. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. 
Item one. Voilà. Is this a bucket? Est-ce que c'est un seau pour moi? Non. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, Alors. not an actual bucket. Item two. Is this a bucket? Oui. Incorrect. Ah. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. D'accord, ok. Pardon. Pardon. C'est vrai que mes connaissances en saut euh, ne se sont pas améliorées depuis la dernière fois. J'ai pas révisé. Item 3. Is this a bucket? Celui-ci, oui, c'est un saut. Correct. This is a bucket. Je l'ai vu. Item 4. C'est pas un saut. Is this a bucket? Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. Salut à toi, Benal. Comment vas-tu? I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. Allez, au suivant, sûr. On refait ça, puis après on va chercher les items là. Ah, les collectibles. Is this a bucket? Là, c'était dur. Oui, mais regarde. Là, c'est un saut. This is a bucket. Voilà. Ça, tu t'y attendais pas. Item 6. Is this a bucket? Non. Trick question. Ah oui. Both. Gotcha. Les deux. J'avais oublié celui-là. <coughs> pas du tout. Item... Ouais. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Yes, thank you. Oui. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, Bien sûr. when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Moi, je pense que un saut. Stanley, I can't ah non, keep lui, doing pas un saut, this. I'm losing myself and myself was all I ever had to begin with. Ah. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. Bon, bah, il va falloir que je revienne sans saut euh, à l'endroit où je voulais aller, dans tous les cas. Ça, What happened? Sûr. Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Eh oui. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could, except me? I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. On oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. Je suis désolé, hein, je vais aller faire une petite pause avant de. <rire> we'll put back all of the buckets. Okay? De we'll continuer et d'aller à l'endroit où je vais aller parce que. But if you run into anyone peu, else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right. Here we go. Ou alors peut-être que je poursuivrai le stream. Peut-être qu'après je poursuivrai le stream, mais sans cam et tout après. Je sais pas. On verra. Comme ça, je pourrais éteindre la lumière. Enfin bref. Du coup, je fais une toute petite pause. Désolé. Mais je vous dis à tout de suite.
Me revoilà Je vous remercie de votre patience. Quelle chaleur. Je crois que j'ai jamais eu autant chaud pendant cette période de chaleur cette année que ce soir, sincèrement. Bon, pour l'instant, je vais tenter de continuer à stream avec euh, la cam, la lumière et tout, mais peut-être qu'après, ce euh, sera différent. Je sais pas. Bon, reprenons. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his code. Voilà, he never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps mm -hmm. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh yeah. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To Put show you switch. something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. You're getting what close up? now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in ouais, the sense non, que that we changer, hein, quand on trouvera la dernière. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us vrai. can. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Je sais où est la dernière, c'est pour ça que je fais ça. Properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Ah merde, je me suis couré. Je suis un connard. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Ah, j'ai oublié. Il fallait que je rentre dans la porte rouge. Is this what you had wanted? Au moins la troisième fois. Was it ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Easy. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. We. Oui. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard? En vrai, euh, on va refaire la même chose euh, qu'on a déjà fait une fois. Je pense que c'est pas intéressant. A soft wind blew outside, and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. 
Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Faut juste que j'atteigne euh, la dernière figurine. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Est-ce qu'il y a vraiment quelque chose là-bas en plus, je pense pas. Bon. Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. On cherche la figurine. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. En fait, juste vérifier. Oui, non, j'ai un que c'est bon. Ah, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't oui, here. Bon. Running and running and running just the way you're right euh... now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... Aller. I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, je pense qu'elle est quelque oh, part no. là. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Parce qu'il y avait un truc avec des escaliers, je sais pas quoi. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, non, Stanley, think about hein. what you're doing. Elle est même pas là. Je vois pas où est-ce qu'elle serait, en fait. Un endroit avec des escaliers dans le jeu. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Honestly, we'll be back then. Just stay here. Can't find it. Oh, it's right here. 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 You will die. What about this? Isn't getting through to you? Hey, up, no! Oh no, no, no! What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Hey, up, lah. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally non, willing to arrête, kill yourself mec. to keep me from being happy. Am jeu. I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. 
Well, this one is yours. Is it no. over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Euh, un endroit avec beaucoup d'escaliers, euh, franchement les gars. Euh... What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. On va au moins faire une fin inédite si on ne trouve pas le bon chemin là. Je sais pas. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around, coming to a staircase. Mais ça, Stanley walked upstairs là, to his boss's office. Si je fais ça. Ah oui! And there it is, the last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Ok. Ah, c'est con parce que j'étais passé euh, mille fois ici et j'ai pas pensé à cet endroit. Bon, c'est pas grave. On va essayer de refaire la fin qu'on avait eue avec le saut euh... tout à l'heure, mais sans le saut du coup. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. No. That kind Ready? of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Ouvre-moi le passage secret, merde. <laughs> Putain. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Hey. Après ça, je vais regarder les fins du jeu différentes qu'il y a, voir euh... celles qu'on aurait pu louper. Je pense qu'on a bien fait le tour là. Déjà. Le escape aussi, euh, ça pourrait être intéressant sans la, le saut. Ouais, j'essaye. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Attends, regardez, euh, did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe, it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Euh... Was this the only reason he was oiseaux. happy with his boring job? That his emotions Finalement. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. 
his own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Peut toujours pas monter là, non? Or sad, bizarre, hein, or aussi. content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again bon. exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Shipper. C'est pareil cette fois-là, je l'ai éteint au lieu de l'allumer, ça se trouve il y a encore euh, des fins différentes quoi. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Ah, il y a encore plein de fins en vrai que j'ai pas fait. Rien que sur ce chemin. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Ah oui. Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where Le had ciel. his co-workers gone? How pas. had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stand stopped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Ouais, je pense que c'est la fin, euh, la fin entre guillemets euh, où tu obéis tout le temps et que tu fais euh, ce que tu dois faire. Terminer le jeu. Finissez The Stanley Parable. Ouais, effectivement. C'est euh, la fin fin quoi sur les enfants qu'on a eu. Incroyable. Stanley, I'm sorry, ah. but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines. Those figlers. Oui. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with si inner plus gratifiant, un des plus gratifiant, Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? De, okay. I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Pas just problème. one more time. Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then we had oui. no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Ça fait pas péter un câble, le... Le 7 sur 6 comme ça. And here ah. was a second Stan the Reen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Maybe. Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. 
but you continue to <laughs> surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stair? Uh, Can you remember? It's a true way about, no? No, no, no. The warehouse was the fourth place you found a fig anley, not the third. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If the warehouse feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? Survive, survive. Let's see. What came next? Oh, yes. We found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't <laughs> no. actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. <laughs> oh, putain. Ok, ouais, ouais. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> oh, oui, c'est parfait. Ah <laughs> oh, oui. Bravo. <rire> Parfait. À la vidéo YouTube de 2001. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was oui, eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Ok. J'imagine qu'elles empruntent le même chemin, oui. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here, under the stairs. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're Bien sûr, all mais moi aussi je me suis la même chose. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. D'accord. And oh. then, there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Okay. Um. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Ah. Stop the loading screen. Isn't oui. there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. Okay. We'll do the Bien. memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, yes, that spot under the stairs, I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. <rire> Est-ce que tu vas nous remontrer ta vidéo And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched Ah oui. <rire> yes, I love that video. Je comprends mec, moi aussi je serais très fier de place. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. That's why my sous-titres là. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Ready.
Si on va là-bas. Non, c'est pas faisable, ok. Bon. Let's go. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. Look how much fun the past is. I want more, more memories. Okay. Oh yes, the two doors. <laughs> Who could have forgotten that? A classic <laughs> memory, this one. C'est les deux portes. Franchement, c'est pas le moment le plus mémorable. And before everything else, there was your office. <laughs> On est revenu là. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Ah. Huh? Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with... well... came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. <laughs> Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back Ready. just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This bon, ouais. is the story of a man named Stanley. It's too cool. Bon. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was Ah, je m'enfuis avec le saut cette fois. Ah. Stanley's bucket, the only co-worker he would ever truly need. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Est-ce que y a pas un délire du genre les <rire> les figurines sont réapparues Je pense pas mais non. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, St but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay. 
Après ça, il y aura deux fins, un test sans saut. Et après, je regarderai un petit peu euh, si on a fait le tour des fins possibles et imaginables. Et puis, bah, si on a fini, on a fini, quoi. Stanley and the Bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mm. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst Qu'est-ce qu'il fait chaud Je me répète, hein, je sais. Putain, je crève de chaud. Reassuring it that everything would be fine. C'est horrible. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? Ce sont ces paris qui sont en stainless feeble mind. Probablement une fin avec les boutons aussi, mais c'est juste qu'il y a un bouton que je n'arrive pas à trouver euh, comment avoir l'accès à la dernière salle. Into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Allez, But here was the, the, proof. Proof. the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed yes, themselves sure. from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. La belle vie avec the bucket saut. wanted to learn to roller skate. Bien Stanley sûr. wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. Ah? <laughs> what? Wait. What was happening? Mais... Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? What? Unbearable silence filled the room. Lingering in uncertainty, until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No. Even the facility itself recognized no. the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket, would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Ah Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped vrai. eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. D'accord, on peut pas s'évader avec le saut. Ah, je voulais vivre ma meilleure vie avec mon saut. Ah non, il est trop important pour tout le monde. J'aurais dû m'en douter, mais... Bon, ça, j'en ai marre. Que le... Ça fait quoi Trois fois que le, cra... le jeu crache en tout. Donc deux fois aujourd'hui. C'est fou que ce soit une version PS5 et que ce soit pas stable. Parce que je sais que des fois il y a des versions PS4 qui font un peu chier sur PS5, mais. 
Bon, bref. Quelle heure est-il Est-ce que quelqu'un peut me dire Non, bien sûr, personne ne sait rien. Vous et moi, nous ne nous, nous connaissons même pas. Nous sommes étrangers l'un pour l'autre. Certes, j'ai réglé tous les paramètres du jeu à votre convenance, mais qui ne ferait pas ça Je suis là pour ça, c'est un peu mon travail. Et maintenant, mon travail est terminé. J'ai plus de renseignements à vous demander, j'ai toutes les données euh, sur vous qu'il me faut. Mais je ne vous connais toujours pas. Et vous ne me connaissez pas. Et aucun de nous deux ne sait quelle heure il est. J'imagine que certains réglages sont inréglables. Mais si je vais être parfaitement honnête, cette heure n'a aucune incidence sur le jeu de toute façon. Je ne serai pas là la prochaine fois que le jeu se lancera, mais ce n'est pas grave. Oh non Les jeux vidéo sont faits pour être joués en solitaire. Vous appréciez la solitude, non C'est peut-être la seule information utile que j'ai apprise de vous. Bien, il est temps pour moi de vous laisser. Il me reste peut-être une dernière chose à régler, mais j'ai besoin de temps pour m'y préparer. Ce n'est pas vraiment dans ma description de travail, mais ça va. Peut-être que vous me reverrez si euh, vous pouvez me trouver. Parlez bientôt. Si je vais dans les paramètres, est-ce que je peux le retrouver, vous croyez Il ah, y a épilogue Alors attendez, je vais commencer le jeu. Parce qu'il y a deux fins que j'ai pas encore faites que je vais essayer. Et après je vais regarder, euh, on va redémarrer le jeu volontairement. Pour l'épilogue. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh mon dieu. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into okay. the manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward okay. into the opened passageway. Attendez, attendez. Euh... Que je sois sûr. <rire> euh, comment Bon. Comment réagir Je... Mais c'est fou. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Bon, je regarderai à ça après le live des enfants.
Mais euh, petite mise à jour sur le projet Nicolas Cage. <rire> C'est complètement fou. Euh... <rire> je sais pas. Non, franchement, honnêtement, je préfère attendre le live de demain pour annoncer ça bien comme il faut. Mais disons qu'il y a moyen qu'on reçoive un gros coup de pouce. Mais très gros. <rire> je, je regarderai ça après mon live. Et... Euh... Pour être sûr, euh, communiquer les bonnes informations, ce genre de choses, euh, avec les gens susceptibles de nous aider. On verra. Pour l'instant, je n'en dis pas plus. Et je vous dirai euh, tout ce qu'il y a à savoir sur euh, <rire> le live de demain. <rire> Mais pour l'instant, ça serait un truc de fou. Voilà. Et évidemment, aussi... Euh, si euh, demander l'autorisation, si je peux vous tenir au courant, si ces choses se font. Bref. Continuons, je... ça va être difficile là pour moi de continuer. <rire> je suis très heureux. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Bon. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. On va s'évader euh, comme ça, on va faire la vraie fin de jeu. Escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him okay. was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and chaud. willingly confront his death. <laughs> As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He un petit message à quelqu'un du coup. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, okay. Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the <coughs> enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Euh... Hop. Le message est rempli. Bon. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Ah, le musée n'est pas le même, j'ai l'impression. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Vrai, ce dit. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Plan du bureau. Ce plan vous montre le bureau au début de la partie, le chemin entre le bureau de Stanley et les deux portes et le tout premier chemin conçu dans le jeu. Des sections ont été ajoutées et modifiées au cours du développement, mais l'organisation générale est restée presque inchangée depuis la première itération. En vrai, c'est un... intéressant aussi de voir ce genre de choses, si c'est pas bullshit. Je pense pas que ce soit le cas. 
Le rythme de l'or de cette section d'ouverture devait être irréprochable. Ce couloir a été déplacé et modifié afin que euh, le joueur soit sûr d'atteindre les deux portes au bon moment. Arme de rangement, bien sûr, bien sûr. Bien sûr. Euh, le bureau. Le bureau. Son de bouton. Une sélection de sons entendus dans le jeu à chaque utilisation d'un bouton. Chaque son est un mélange de frappe au clavier et de tonalité de synthétiseur. D'accord. Ordinateur de bureau. Oui. Remerciement écrit conçu. Ça, ça, ça c'est cool. Ça, c'est très cool. Vraiment un musée euh, créé euh, autour du développement du, du jeu, j'aime beaucoup l'idée. Hein. Oh, attendez, je vais aller euh, par là d'abord. Attendez, je vais répondre à un message. Ok. Let's go. Bureau du chef, capture d'écran du bureau du chef est en cours de développement. Ok. Il ah, y a tellement de choses dans ce musée. Oh, C'est incroyable, attendez. C'est une coupée de narration. Kevin Brightling, le premier à enregistrer les dialogues du jeu ont à peu près trois fois au cours des deux années de développement. Il a extrait les premières prises qui ne figurent pas dans la version finale du jeu. <rire> C'est trop bien de faire un musée, un making of sous forme de musée comme ça. La salle de pause, ok. Sous-sol, l'une des premières versions de la partie en sous-sol du jeu. Ok. Nos problèmes. Horloge de bureau. Fin de la liberté. Voici la toute première version de la fin de la liberté pour l'alpha du jeu. Ah oui, d'accord. Salle du compte à rebours. L'une des premières versions de la salle du compte à rebours. Bien sûr. Fin relaxante. Cette capture vous montre l'une des premières versions de la fin connue. Sous le nom de fin relaxante, finalement. Abandonnée et fusionnée avec une autre partie du jeu. Levier de fin relaxante, c'est le levier se trouvé dans la fin relaxante. Le joueur euh, devait actionner un levier et le narrateur décrit la couleur du levier choisi. Putain, mais c'est incroyable! Modèle de fin relaxante. La fin relaxante a connu plusieurs itérations. Cette pièce, c'est la quatrième version de la fin et nous pensons l'avoir achevée, mais finalement, nous l'avons abandonnée et modifiée juste avant la sortie. C'est trop cool. On peut appuyer sur les boutons là? Je pense pas. Menu échappe! Pendant longtemps, nous avions une fin qui ne se finissait vraiment que lorsque le joueur recommençait depuis le menu échappe. Malheureusement, beaucoup de joueurs ont compris que c'est euh, ce qu'ils devaient faire, ce qui s'est révélé frustrant pour tout le monde. Le minuteur de l'appartement. L'une des premières versions du choix menant à la fin de l'appartement. Un minuteur vous laissait 15 secondes pour décrocher le téléphone. Ne pas décrocher le téléphone mettait euh, mené à une autre fin. Le monde charge. Le monde charge a toujours eu pour but de, de vous proposer de rester ou de sauter vers un autre embranchement. Cependant, après cette première version, nous avons décidé d'ajouter l'option où le joueur tombe et meurt. Meurt. Le monde charge, la deuxième version, correspond à celle que nous trouvons dans la version finale du jeu. Mais nous voulions lui donner l'apparence d'un endroit où l'on stockerait des marchandises. Salle de réunion. Plan de maintenance. Il était important de placer correctement les couloirs après les deux portes, car les joueurs allaient les emprunter plusieurs fois. Nous avons discuté d'un certain nombre de plans, mais finalement c'est la version la plus simple qui fait l'unanimité. D'accord. Email du narrateur. Après la deuxième bande-annonce que nous avons publiée, nous avons demandé aux gens d'envoyer des questions par email au narrateur. Nous comptions nous en servir pour promouvoir encore le jeu. Mais nous n'avons jamais trouvé vraiment comment les exploiter. Voici une sélection de ces emails. Et putain, mais c'est fou. Il est fou ce, ce musée. L'une des premières versions de la salle de pause. 
C'est incroyable. Je suis même pas sûr d'avoir tout vu. Hein. Je peux vous mentir. Hein. Une zone de guerre. Oula. Au début du développement, nous avons imaginé une fin où Stanley se retrouvait sur un champ de bataille contre des extraterrestres. Le jeu développerait sa propre intelligence et partirait en guerre contre le narrateur. Nous avons réalisé peu après que c'était poussé la blague trop loin et que c'était peut-être trop plat par rapport au ton du jeu. Certains l'ont aussi vu comme une manière de nous moquer des amateurs de jeux de tir, ce qui n'était pas notre but. L'une des premières versions de la salle de maintenance, ok. Ah mais j'ai fait le tour là, non Il n'y a pas une sortie Ça c'est les emails, on l'a vu. Ça on n'a pas vu. Bureau de Stanley, de gauche à droite l'évolution du bureau de Stanley au fil des temps, du temps. Le premier date de novembre 2011, le deuxième de mars 2012 et le troisième de février 2013. On voit quelques différences, effectivement. Maquette du game design. Voici le niveau que William, le level designer, a envoyé à Davy, le scénariste, en tant que proposition. L'efficacité de ce design a permis à William d'être engagé pour concevoir le jeu tout entier, si l'environnement a beaucoup évolué. L'organisation originale proposée dans cette maquette est toujours dans le jeu. Salle du compte à rebours, l'une des premières versions de la salle du compte à rebours. Fin de la liberté, voici la fin de la liberté telle qu'elle apparaît dans la bêta. Je crois qu'on l'a vu ça, non, non Je suis pas sûr. Bureau du compte à rebours, l'un des bureaux dans une version antérieure de la fin du compte à rebours. Oui, ça on l'a vu, bon. Ok. Oui, mais même ça on l'avait vu de loin, je l'avais pas vu. Ascenseur de la salle des écrans. Pendant un moment, l'ascenseur de la salle des écrans pouvait monter ou descendre. Vous retrouveriez la liberté en haut et le compte à rebours en bas. Nous avons laissé tomber cette idée car les joueurs n'arrivaient pas à se souvenir de ce qu'il y avait en haut et en bas. Et préféraient regrouper ces deux fins. Ok. C'est incroyable, hein Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... Ok, donc c'est la fin de ça. Euh, je vais faire l'autre fin que je pense qu'on n'a pas faite, et puis après on va passer sur l'épilogue. On regardera s'il y a deux trois fins qu'on n'a pas faites, et puis après, euh, s'il y a deux trois fins qu'on n'a pas faites, on les fera. Et puis on s'arrêtera là, hein, de toute façon. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Bah. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill <laughs> surprise. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il y a, mec <laughs> Pourquoi tu... <laughs> Laisse-moi kiffer le jeu <rire> Qu'est-ce qu'il a le narrateur Incroyable Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, no. C'est pas les petits oiseaux. C'est pas les stupides oiseaux. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. But you oui. were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Je ne savais pas. Throw my story off track. You're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating oh, wow. the entire complex. <laughs> well, until detonation then, <laughs> let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your uh, time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what okay, precious she moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely huh? know where to start. Sorry. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Il était où le trois? Right, good mood. You're gonna ah. die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned ah. off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever. Zero five two one. Peut-être que le bas c'est un zéro en fait. Alone. Other times, Zero, one, quatre, I let the oh, office putain. sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite... Est-ce qu'on a un zéro quelque part, en vrai J'ai pas vu de zéro. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. Oh, putain. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Mais... You know what? <laughs> to hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time <laughs> Oh non, c'est terrible, c'est perdu. These are precious ah, additional seconds, ah, Time doesn't grow. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, you know, running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. But oui, mais j'ai j'ai. Oh, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. 
everything, anything, something here will save me. Mais... Why would you think that, Stanley? Pourquoi this video chan? game can be beaten, won, solved. Do you have any idea what your purpose verre. in this place is? Je sais pas si c'est utile. <rire> quatre. Pourquoi quatre? Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Je vais appuyer sur le quatre. Spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? C'est un problème de merde. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. Attendez, je crois qu'il y a un espèce de code couleur. So you can't. Du coup de bail, du coup de bail, du coup de bail. C'est pas ce que j'espérais. 30 secondes until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your fair life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Il y a rien qui marche. Allez, allez It's all the same to me. All a part of you. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment you fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Mais c'est moi. Ah. Bon, on va faire l'épilogue. En fait, il y avait peut-être un truc retour au menu du jeu. Euh, juste, j'ai fermé le, le jeu comme un sauvage, mais je sais pas. Épilogue. Bien, bien des années plus tard. Oh, incroyable. Je pense que je vais m'arrêter après l'épilogue. Je sais pas. Oh. Mais on avait déjà eu euh, ce terrain comme ça euh, quand j'avais dormi euh, Milan là, euh, avec le bouton pour passer. Souvenez-vous. Ça signifie tout ça. C'est joli, hein, mais... Ah En fait, ça se passe dans le même univers que Fallout. Ah non La salle des mémoires Ça fait tout bizarre de jouer sans le narrateur. <coughs> Critique de The Stanley Parable 2. 
Comme beaucoup d'autres, j'ai aimé le premier Stanley Parable, ce qui souligne à quel point je suis déçu de cette suite. Là où le jeu d'origine qui est brillé par son originalité, de Stanley Parable 2 est ennuyeux. Son inspiration est bien souvent insultant à l'égard de ses fans. Plutôt que de surfer sur ce qui avait fait euh, le succès du premier jeu, la suite nous emmène vers des territoires qui n'intéressent personne. Un trou sans fin qui s'intéresse. Où sont les nouvelles fins et ces séquences amusantes de The Stanley Parable 1 Comme la ligne d'aventure. <rire> Bien sûr. Au lieu de ça, ça, on nous sert pardon, une quête annexe peu inspirée à base de collecte de figurines. Mais c'était trop bien, t'as pas compris. Même cette diversion laisse un goût d'inachevé. Trouver toutes les figurines. Développement euh, de Stanley Parable. Plus de spin-off, plus de suite. Ah non. Quand The Stanley Parable a connu son succès mondial en 2013, ses créateurs ont envisagé de faire fructifier ce triomphe en créant une véritable franchise. Mais la réception critique désastreuse et l'échec commercial de The Stanley Parable 2 ont forcé les développeurs à recevoir à la baisse leur ambition. À revoir, putain, mais je sais pas lire. Ainsi qu'il euh, l'explique dans un communiqué de presse publié aujourd'hui. Il apparaît clairement que les fans ne veulent pas plus de Stanley Parable. Peut-on lire dans cette communication Nous pensions que notre vision pour l'avenir de la série réjouirait les joueurs. Malheureusement, nous n'aurions pas pu être plus éloignés de la réalité. Le communiqué de presse poursuit en promettant de préserver l'intégrité artistique du jeu original et d'arrêter d'agresser les fans par nos visions créatives <rire> considérées et insultantes. Le mot « désolé » apparaît plus de 25 fois dans le communiqué. Ouais, vraiment désolé quoi. <rire> Bien sûr. C'est les figurines. C'est les figurines. Non, elles sont toutes là. Non, il y en a même plus qu'avant. Où est le narrateur Merci euh, d'avoir partagé le nouveau contenu. Mais une fois ici, qu'est-ce que je dois faire Mais... Ah. Rebonjour. Ravi de vous voir. Mais c'est horrible d'apprendre qu'un nouveau jeu Stanley Parable ne verra jamais le jour. Ouais. Avez-vous vu que les développeurs ont dit préserver l'intégrité de la franchise Quel ramassis aussi ce Stanley Parable n'est pas sacré et il n'y a nul besoin de le protéger. Au diable l'héritage. Continuons de créer des jeux Stanley Parable jusqu'à ce que le soleil explose. Oula. Mettons cette franchise à terre. Traînons-la dans la boue. Et si le public déteste, qui s'intéresse Vous voyez, c'était ça le problème du narrateur. Il faisait une fixation sur ce que les gens euh, pensaient de son travail. Ne faites pas la même erreur. Ne vous attachez pas à l'héritage. Laissez-le se dégrader. <rire> ce n'est pas difficile. D'ailleurs, je vais vous montrer. Ensemble, nous allons créer The Stanley Parable 3. Oh là, ça va trop vite, les gens. C'était simple. Il nous suffit de changer le numéro sur les grands titres du jeu. Il nous faudra aussi un sous-titre débile pour le jeu. Un truc bien cucu et qui se remarque. Essayez de combiner des mots au hasard pour <rire> trouver un nouveau titre pour notre jeu. Allez, vas-y. L'infini, la malédiction du attaque, euh, attaque sur les proches peines de genre humain, proche papier, dispositif de contre le seigneur du bourrage papier, c'est bien, j'aime bien, on peut en rajouter, non, ok. Cette année par Abel 3, le seigneur du bourrage papier, c'est absurde, j'adore. Dès que vous relancez le jeu, nous passerons au chiffre suivant et choisirons un nouveau sous-titre. <rire> C'est ainsi de... <rire> Stanley Parable ne connaîtra jamais de fin et rien ne changera dans le jeu quand vous ferez ça. Ajouter du contenu, ça demande du travail, inutile d'aller jusque là. Ce sera juste le même contenu recyclé à l'infini avec un nouvel écran titre. Qu'est-ce que vous dites de ça On valide ce plan Moi ça me plaît, mais vous avez aussi votre mot à dire. 
On ne fait pas ça. Je comprends, parfois il est trop tôt pour avancer. C'est pas grave, si vous changez d'avis et vous voulez euh, créer de nouvelles suites, revenez me voir. Je serai là. Ah, en vrai euh... Allez, on va retourner le voir pour, euh... pour dire oui. Et on va voir euh, jusque quand on peut, comment on peut faire avancer euh, les chiffres en fait. On va voir ça. beau. C'est dommage, c'est un peu long. J'aurais dû dire oui, si j'avais su. Si j'avais su. Je reviens te voir, mon ami Où es-tu Ok, ok. Bon, nous y revoilà. On va créer The Stanley Parable 3, hein. je sens que nous devons le faire. Oh bonjour Ça me fait plaisir de vous revoir. Vous avez repensé à mon idée d'inventer ce titre absurde de détergent. Comme ça, <rire> oui, vas-y. Vous voulez vous commencer dès maintenant On fait ça. Eh bien, c'est une nouvelle suite dès que vous commencez le jeu. Et vous savez quoi, puisque vous avez cru en mon idée, j'ai envie de vous offrir un petit quelque chose. Il me semble que le narrateur n'a pas réussi à vous remettre le trophée cassé, n'est-ce pas Bien sûr que non, je ne m'attendais pas à des miracles de sa part. Ah oui, c'est vrai qu'il y a un fameux... Apparemment, il y a un trophée qui est cassé. Ça m'embête, c'est... Euh... Je vous propose qu'on règle ça. Et voilà, la machine à trophée est réparée. Vous voyez, je suis euh, de votre côté, nous sommes ensemble, vous et moi. Et ensemble, nous ferons avancer ce train. Cette année, Parable ne doit jamais s'arrêter. Il devra tourner sur lui-même pour l'éternité. Je dois continuer à faire tourner la roue. Moi, je suis prêt. Vous aussi Formidable Nous n'avons plus qu'une chose à faire. <rire> Bien sûr. Allez, il, est, il est minuit. Est-ce que l'ordinateur soit à peine visible Merci. Profitez bien de The Stanley Parable. Donc, du coup, on est sur le 3. 
Oh là là Le bourrage <rire> papier. Est-ce qu'il se passe quelque chose si je commence le jeu avec ce, ce sous-titre On va passer ça. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it ah, mean? Sûr, hein. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Non, attendez. Retour au menu. La suite est... Ah, je sais pas... J'ai pas lu. Ah, je vais redémarrer le jeu, du coup. Je vais voir s'il me propose de faire le 4. Je vais voir jusqu'où ça va aller. Tout simplement. Ah, alors à la recherche, de nouveau avec une pointe de Docteur S, recette grillée 2, épisode 5, le, les eaux du combat, cosmos, feu, défi, satellite, carré. À la recherche du carré, c'est bien. Hein. Oh, wow, ah là, c'est dramatique, là. Là, je le sens. On va redémarrer le jeu. <rire> c'est très drôle. Rien que ça, ça pourrait être un jeu, en fait. <rire> Surtout que j'aime bien donner des sous-titres absurdes à des trucs. C'est presque une private joke avec des potes. Ouais, vas-y. Rêve d'un... Les poches pla... peines, pardon, de... Murmure d'un... Un atomique, les origines du... Les origines du jour de repos, c'est bien. Incroyable. Retenez-les tous ces jeux, hein. Ils vont sortir grâce à nous. C'est incroyable franchise que peut être Stanley Parable. Que va être Stanley Parable Pardon. Alors, murmure d'un, le squelette du, le livre du, le trimestre du, la vengeance du, le grand pistolet. Le squelette du pistolet, c'est bien, ça fait rien dire. Voilà, et les images, elles sont vraiment bien. Vas-y, j'en fais encore 2-3, après je m'arrête là, parce que je sais pas si c'est infini ou pas. Je doute que ce soit infini, mais. Allez, je fais celui-ci, puis après un dernier, on s'arrêtera là. En tout cas, très cool, hein, comme je, je... Alors, maintenant que si vous avez regardé ce live et celui de la semaine dernière, c'est vrai qu'il y a un peu moins d'intérêt euh, de jouer au jeu, mais... Franchement, si vous débarquez juste à ce moment-là, faites-le, quoi, c'est incroyable. La destruction du garrot, l'infini... En jeu problématique du poule... C'était... En jeu problématique du poulpe. Hein. Oh, wow, là c'est l'espace. <rire> wow. Allez, un dernier. On est déjà arrivé au 7. Là, on va au 8. Est-ce que c'est finalement l'ordre des chiffres Euh, Stanley contre le, le tout dernier rêve d'un extensible d'inspecteur du la malédiction du disque du genre, la malédiction du mot de remerciement j'aime bien <rire> voilà on va se quitter sur cet écran titre The Stanley Parable 8 la malédiction du mot de remerciement ça ça envoie ça j'aime je veux ce jeu même s'ils sortent pas euh, les 6 euh, autres jeux qui est entre le 1 et le 8, c'est pas grave. Bon. 
Bah c'était sympa C'était sympa mine de rien Ce petit euh, The Stanley Parable Du coup je vous fais des gros bisous Je vous dis à la prochaine Probablement demain euh, vers 20h30 Alors je sais pas si on va Continuer le Let's Play Platine Chant sur Batman Ou si on va On va commencer le, le... Un deuxième Let's Play Parce que d'habitude je fais toujours deux Let's Play euh, en parallèle l'un de l'autre Nous verrons bien Nous verrons bien sur ce, je vous fais des gros 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 bisous. Je vous dis à la prochaine et surtout, ne vous amusez plus. <rire>